This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long, and now for the action. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, the danger is still there. Not the best challenge, free kick. Well, full credit to the visitors for the way they've gone about their defensive business. In fact, they're the number one team defensively in the league. Well, I can only admire the work rate, the know-how, and the desire of their defensive structure. It's been brilliant this season, and I don't expect that to change today. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Well, news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Harrogate Town. He shot far post, the keeper parries it, but the rebound has been put in nicely. They've scored the opener with 13 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Can he do it? Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Trying to pick out a teammate. No keeper will mind that sort of corner. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Davidson. He must finish! Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. So the corner played into the box. And play halted, free kick given. the keeper did well that's just exceptional he reacted so quickly there over it comes it might be well the outcome is a free kick here Collins Will he play it in? And now it is there for him. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. One nil then. As you can see, the visitors have had much less of the ball. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. A chance to extend the lead. And danger still. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Well, fantastic reflex action.
Nearly at the break then, and the visitors have eked out a lead. Stuart, an opportune moment, I think, to get your assessment. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. That's not a bad ball. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. The first half here comes to an end. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Love. And there's been a change to the scoreline in one of the other games. Alex has details. It's a goal for Stevenage. It's now 1-0 with 48 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. And cleared away. Could be. It's still alive. And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, that save just about keeps them in this but they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. And after the cross, defensive action called for. Well, they're getting right on top of their opponents at every turn. And space for the cross. Must be! Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. To extend their lead here. And a timely penalty save! Let's see about the delivery. Will it be? Dangerous looking attack. And crossed in there. Well, not the best clearance. Good looking ball, in position, it's in, they're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved, they've played really well so far. And a second goal for them here. how to rob them of possession this is a message for all away supporters can you please remain seated after the game and your coach will meet you and he's in vital interception the danger was very real we're getting the ball forward can he put it in a wild effort it was, and probably the less said about it, the better. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Really getting stuck in. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. And it might be. Oh, it's a wild, wild finish. Showing considerable guile. Big chance.
Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Now we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott. It's another goal for Stevenage. They're now three ahead with 18 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Well, body in the way. Now the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Hunter. And we've entered the final five minutes. Lund. They've won back possession. Dieng. Promising looking ball. Absolutely nothing wrong with the idea, but no end product. Able to deal with the threat. Spot on with that tackle. They might be able to get in now. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors. You're absolutely right, Derek. They're attacking.